Hey everyone, I am back with Eco at long last. Uh, in the last episode, we got a sword, cut some ropes so we could go through here. And we can't go up here just yet because we'll just fall down. I want to go. So, yeah, sorry it's been so long. I have been busy with having to edit some stories and stuff. And when I did have time, it wasn't feasible for me to record. So this is kind of the first time I've really got to record since then. I'm going up here, go left first before you start going right, otherwise you run out of ledges to hang on to. Also try not to go too far along when you see a ledge like that, because he will automatically fall off. And that won't be good because you'll have to start all over again. Yes. So, yeah, um. Let's go. Trying to remember the controls again. It's the worst thing. Um, we are about halfway through this game now. Uh, it's a pretty short game. I have a couple of ideas of what I might want to do for my next LP. But suggestions are always welcome. Um, they're probably going to be longer LPs, I'm guessing. Right. Just no. Okay, just don't. There we go. Don't fall in the water. Woo. Um. Again. The shadow things will come if you leave your order for a long time in this bit. Um, so just try not to do that. Uh, okay. Oop. Pretty sure there are ropes. Are there ropes here? No, I thought there were. Oh, may oh actually maybe it's up here. Yeah, I haven't played this bit in a while. There we go. Just jump and cut them. Jump and cut. You can normally do that in one swipe, to be honest. Oh, it's just being silly. And we just keep following the path along. Yay. Let's see if we can do it in one swipe. Oh, man. Do it on one swipe. Well, we now have a bridge. And there is a switch in here that we can pull. And we are above the little water bit. There we go. I think we can just jump down from this bridge actually. I don't think we have to go all the way around again. Because remember last time, ah, uh, okay, I thought we could jump. Maybe not. Okay, we do have to go all the way around. Run, Eco, run before those horrible creatures come and get your order. So I think, to be a couple of days ago, I saw um, Paranorman and it was amazing. I really loved it. Where's that going off to? We need your ah oh, no. We need your order first, I believe. Yes, yes, we do need your order. Yeah, I, I love um stop motion anyway. I'm a really big fan of it, and um although I didn't particularly like Coraline, that was a bit weird. Well, not weird, but I don't know. There's something about it that I didn't quite like. But I mean, it was still a good film but it wasn't one of my favourites. But Paranorman is amazing. I would definitely recommend you see that. Uh, especially if you are a fan of that animation and you like horror films. It does really great. Ah, uh, Yorda! Homages to them. Hello? What are you just standing in the door for? Okay. Come on then. And they're my kind of zombies as well. 
I won't say why. If you've seen the film, you know why. But if I wrote zombies, I'd probably uh, write them like that. <laughs> because I'm that kind of person when it comes to monstrous things. Which my mum gets a bit creeped out about, but never mind. Yeah, you, uh, these won't appear if you don't bring Yorda close to them. So, yeah, just make sure Yorda is here. Because she's magical and she brings magical bridges to the world. Oh, I really want to see paranormal again now. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going on about it. I think my family is already sick of me going on about it, to be honest. But it's just so good. And it's got a really great story. It kind of made me cry a little bit at the end. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, Yordi, did you not want to come with me? Actually, we do need to bring her down. Come on. It's not that scary. I'll hold you. Go. Okay, so we've got to light whoop, these things, and if we go over here, we can see kinda that our stick is still there. There we go. That was really hard to see. And now we can light these things. Oh, we did have to go back up there, didn't we? Leave this fire up here. <laughs> fire! Yep, it's on the other side. My perception completely went off at that point. Yeah, Paranormal is actually a really funny film as well. Ah. Uh, it's not really for uh, children, though. See, they kind of reference loads of... Like, really bad horror films. <laughs> like, Friday the 13th and Cannibal Holocaust. So, yeah. But, like, even the music. They have, like, that kind of late 70s, early 80s horror film music. So yeah, we have now opened one of the gates, and where's your order? Oh, there she is. I'm going to quickly save it because there are some horrible things around out there that could possibly kill me. So I will see you in a little bit. Bye.